Hey guys, I hope you're doing well and welcome back to another quick tutorial. In this one, I'll show you how to change the gravity in your level. Here we have set a very simple setup in which I have a small spaceship and some characters in front of it. When I hit simulate, it will move and hit the guys and there will be a physics simulation using Ragdoll. As you can see, it's looking very cool and it's really fun to play with. And now we want to change the gravity of our level to exaggerate the effect and see how they react with different gravities. Here, just go to the project settings and search for gravity. This minus 980 value here is the default gravity value, which is the Earth's gravity. We can change it here and you can also override it in the world settings in the level. Let's close the project settings and then go to the world settings and search for gravity. Here check the override gravity option and now we are able to set the global gravity here and see what happens. The default value is minus 980 and as you can see when we set it on this value they will behave exactly like before. Now let's put it on say minus 450 and see what happens. Yeah, as you can see with less gravity, their range of movement will be increased and they are able to move more freely after they are hit by the spaceship. Now let's put it on zero, which means we won't have any gravity at all and see how they react. You can see that they won't be pulled back towards the ground and they will continue their movement infinitely and there is nothing there to stop them. Another cool thing we can do here is to put our level on slow motion so we can see the moment of impact clearly and in order to do that all we need is adding a simple node in the level blueprint. Just open up your level blueprint and add a time dilation node to the event begin play. Now by playing with this value I am able to mess with the time and make everything faster or slower. For example if I put it on 0.2 everything will be 5 times slower and we are able to see the moment of the impact easier and better than before. Here, as you can see, the speed of the movement of my camera is still the same, but everything else in the level will move five times slower. Yeah, here we have a slow motion for the impact moment, and we can see how they are reacting when they are hit by the spaceship. You can also put a positive value for the gravity, like 980, which basically means that everything will be pushed from the ground to the sky, and the gravity will work in reverse. Let's also put the time dilation on its default value and simulate the level. Yeah, that concludes this video and that's how easy it is to change the gravity in your levels and get very interesting and cool results. By the way, if you're interested in knowing how to set this physics simulation for the characters and also the movement for the spaceship, please leave a comment below and I'll make a separate video about that topic. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you later.